All right, we're out in a field today with Hull Co-op intern uh, Mitchell Bile, and we're going to talk about how to do yield estimates in your cornfield using the kernel count method. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, yield estimating using the kernel count method, Mitchell? All right, when you start off, you want to go into your field, you want to walk past the end rows, and you want to walk in in between the rows about 50 to 60 feet, so you're out there a ways and you don't want to be close to the end rows. Then you want to pick a random spot. Don't be biased. Don't look at the ears before you pick the spot, you know, because some ears are probably bigger than the others. Pick a random spot. Then you want to measure out 17 feet 5 inches for 30 inch rows. And if you have 36 inch rows, you want to measure out 14 feet 6 inches. <clears throat> When you're done with that and you got it measured out, you want to start at the beginning and you just want to count each plant that has an ear on. So in this one, from 17 feet 5 inches, we counted out 32 plants that have ears on them. So that would be your population. Mm -hmm. After that, you want to come up with some numbers in between 1 and 32. Pick out numbers beforehand, four numbers. Like for me, I picked four, 11, 19, and 26. So they're just random ears because if you don't do those numbers, your eyes usually just focus on the big ones and you start being biased and picking the big ones. So that way, you have an average of the ears. So Mitchell, you're saying we don't have to take all 32 ears, we just take four ears, yeah, right? you just take four ears out of, from the 17 feet, five inches. Then when you're done with that, you got four ears here. You want to peel back the husk, which we already did. Then you want to count the length and the width. So by counting the length, you don't want to be biased again. So you got to kind of start where the average is, because on this side you can see it's shorter here and it's longer here. So we're going to start where it's short and go across a little ways. So let's start right here. And you just want to count all the way down. And then when you get to the butt, I got 28 here for a length. When you get to the butt, you don't want to count these last ones because they don't go all the way across either. You see how there, there isn't as many as when you get to the middle here. So I, start, I stopped about two or three kernels from the butt. So I get 28 with my length. And then you want to crack it in half in the middle about. And you want to count the width. I got 18 across. So what you do there is you take 28 times 18. Twenty-eight times eighteen, and then you get your kernel per ear. And you do that you want to do that with all four ears. When you've counted all your ears, so we got we got all our ears counted here. You take the length times the width and you get your average kernel on an ear. We got four of them. So you take these four numbers, add them together, and you want to divide by four. And that's your average kernel per ear there. Once you've done that, you take that times the population, which we got 32, and then you want to go divided by 95 the kernels per bushel how you get this number 95 is you look at the kernels and you look at the size and the depth if they're an average size and depth then you want to use 95 for bigger and better years when the kernels are a little more bigger and they have more depth you probably want to use 90 and in other years I mean sometimes they're 100 they can be smaller that way too but the average and the most common number we use is probably 95. Once you've done that, you get your average yield here. We got 151. So go over that again. You take all the ears, divide them by four, 
take that times your population and divide by 95 or 90 or 100 and you get your average yield. Now this is the way of getting your average yield. We just did this in one spot. We encourage you to do it in more than one spot in your field to get a better estimated and better number. Then this this is an average yield here. So I mean this could be 20 to 30 bushels off, high or low. Because it depends on your variation, your test weight, and all the sizes of the year. So it can be different. The only way to get an actual yield is to do a test weight in the fall. Corn. So once again, just to summarize, this is a quick and dirty um, method to 